welcome. Boys, make some room by the hearth, won't ya? Oh, these are doable. Well, one of them is, at least. Alright, guys. Welcome to All Play. It's Thursday, so we got another round of Tavern Brawl. And it seems like I don't have access to Tavern... Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay. It's another round of Tavern Brawl. For those of you who don't know, Tavern Brawl is a mode within the game of Hearthstone that introduce crazy rules twists or create scenarios or just generally changes the game of Hearthstone up a little bit. It's a nice little mix when you're tired of playing games in ranked mode or even in standard play mode. And this week's Brawl is no exception. This week's Tavern Brawl. Waiting on the thing to finish spinning. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I'm proud of you. You're loyal. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. You're almost back at the top. Almost there. Come on. Oh. The dial done stopped. This isn't going to be good. Ah! This week's Tavern Brawl is pick a hand, any hand. Pick the first seven cards of your deck, and we'll fill the rest with unstable portals. You get your portals after your mulligan. Okay, so basically what this brawl is saying is you pick the first seven cards of your deck, and those will be the cards that you start. I'm sorry. It's possible that you can get any of those cards to start with. You won't get any unstable portals. At least that's how I'm interpreting it. Uh, then after that, you'll begin drawing your unstable portals as well as whatever cards are missing. So I'm going to try and cheat this. I'm going to try and cheat the system here. Clearly, this is a deck that's meant for Flame Waker. I'm sorry, this is a brawl meant for Flame Waker. You want to pull Flame Waker so you can start dropping down unstable portals every turn. But I don't want to do that. I'm tired. Honestly, I'm tired of Flame Waker and Tavern Brawl. So I'm going to go with my next favorite thing. Uh, which is Kel'Thuzad. You gonna, you're going to show me what Kel'Thuzad does? There we go. Kel'Thuzad says at the end of each turn, summon all friendly minions that died this turn. So basically, anybody that dies over a turn, as long as Kel'Thuzad is still alive, you'll get those minions back. Okay, let's abuse that. We'll abuse that by favorite way with Fugan and Stalag. What they both say is what when if the other person has died, once this one dies... Then you get Thaddeus, which is an 11-11 uh, minion. Okay, combining that with Kel'Thuzad, I'll get these guys back so I can keep getting 11-11s. Now, the problem is I'm going to have three of these cards or four if I'm going second. I'm going to have three or four of these cards in my hand when we start. So I'm never going to be able to play them. I'm never going to be able to play them. Not in win because the two twins, I call them the twins. I have no idea if they're twins or not. The twins cost five, and Kel'Thuzad cost eight. I'm going to have to cheat them in. The only way I know how, Alarmabot. I'll probably be able to get Alarmabot out pretty early with no problem. And then I have Entomb in case I run into something along the way. Again, I'm not going to be able to play. There's no way for me to cheat Entomb. I'm not going to be able to play Entomb until turn six at earliest. I'm just hoping the portals can keep me alive. That's what I'm banking on. This might not win, but that's okay. I'm here to have fun, guys. Let's go ahead and have some fun as we hop into this week's Tavern Brawl. Anduin versus Jaina. You ask for it. The light shall bring victory. All right. So undoubtedly, our first enemy is a mage. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to play nothing but mages today. I'm not even worried. I'm going to send in Tomb back because, again, the plan is I need I need one of the twins, I need Kel'Thuzad, and I need uh, Alarmabot. That's the only way this can work. And we're going first, so I only get three cards. One of the twins. There's Zod, and there's the other twin. Okay. So we're not going to Alarmabot here. And, of course, they're going to drop Flame Waker. I'm not worried. They're going to drop Flame Waker. Flame Waker is coming out. It's probably going to come out faster than faster than I ever thought it could. There's Mana Worm, of course. Again, the deck has a lot of... What's it called? The deck has a lot of... Unstable Portals, which is a spell which is going to power up Mana Worm. Thank you. There's a portal. Mm 
Come on, get your attack in. There you go. All right. She's going to drop another unstable portal. She's going to drop another one, and that's going to kill the Llama Bot. Even if she doesn't, she has Mana Worm in her ability. So Llama Bot is dead this turn. There's no way for me to get Llama Bot out safely. She's called it. If she knows what's good for her, she'll attack Llama Bot. There it is. All right, I need my portal to be on my side. I've got to pull something that costs, what, five or less? Because I'll spend this and I'll have two mana left over. I have to get something that costs five or less. All right. Destroy a random enemy with two or less. Fine. If it'll let me get rid of Mana Worm. If it'll let me get rid of Mana Worm, I guess it's a good thing. Here comes Flame Waker. Uh-oh. Not Flame Waker. She put Violet Teacher in the deck, which is, which is another good card. When you cast a spell, you get a 1-1 Violet Apprentice. Let's see. What I could do, let's see, let's do this first. What I could do is drop one of the twins. The plan, the plan can still work. The plan can still work. It's just that alarm about would have made it go much faster. Just drop one of the twins, play the other one after. She's going to have to get rid of the twins because they're, they're huge threats. They are huge threats, to be very honest with you. Come on. I wonder. Come on, Red. Big and clever Red Mage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a portal. So she gets a 1 1 thingy. I am ready to learn. And a creature for three cheaper. Or a minion for three cheaper. What is it? What is it? Play it. Play it. Oh, she's not going to play it. She's going to play. What is she going to play? Are you going to play it? Are you going to play it? Nope, not going to play it. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. Okay. No Flame Waker, which is odd. I'm going to steal this. Thank you. And now I'm going to go to work. Alright, the problem with putting in cards that <laughs> we're putting in cards that get stronger when you play spells is that if they have Entomb, you're giving them you're giving them fuel. And that's exactly what happened. She gave me a little bit of fuel. I'm just hoping the teacher was it what was she, the teacher? Yeah. I hope the teacher comes up soon. It'll be most beneficial for her to appear soon. Come on. Come on. Mm. Come on, mage. You didn't put any removal spells in there? Uh-oh. Reveling Elemental. Uh-oh. Where's it going? Mm. Two to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What are we doing with our lives? Uh-oh, we're at the point where we can drop Kelthazad soon. That makes me happy. Here we go. <laughs> that makes me happy. Antonidas. I want to save him, to be very honest. I want to save Antonidas. I want to save Antonidas because I need... I know there's no way... Mages, see, here's the thing. Mages don't, I don't care what, oops, I probably should have <laughs> played them. I don't care what mode it is. Mages always play removal spells. They, the he had to have put in a removal spell. Uh-oh. Boom. Where's this one going? 
I don't want Antonitis to die to a removal spell. I would lose my mind. I would lose my mind. Come on. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. It's a trap. Oh, he fell for the trap. Well played. Well played. He fell for the trap. All right, Antonitis. Time to go to war. Time to go to war. You require my assistance. Oh, the way Antonitis works when you play a spell, you get a fireball. Seeing as it's an unstable portal. Aha. Yeah. Aha. Job's done. And it also trick Ooh, Nas Dormus. I love Nas Dormo. He makes the game so much crazier. Uh, and he also triggers off his own spells, his own fireballs. So, <sighs> it's going to be good. This going to be good. I probably shouldn't have did that, though. I probably should have stuck to the plan. Uh-oh, there's her other Violet teacher. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's see, can he win next turn if he just attacks? This is 10, 4, and he need two more damage. Well, one more because of his ability. He uh, he can't, but I don't have any way to follow this up. I'm missing what? Four points? I'm missing four points. Uh, I must consider. Let's see, let's go here. Because this will give us the four that I'm missing. Kind of. Maybe I should do my math better. <laughs> Maybe I should do my math better. What is this? Dragon? I'm holding a dragon. Oh, that's normal. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll go here. I probably should heal. Should I heal? I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal this one time. Uh, I feel like that was a big mistake. I feel like that was a big mistake. The only way he can kill my taunt is with his taunt. And then he's got to worry about the other twin. And that is. And from what I've seen, this mage has not, has not packed a single removal spell in there. It's very weird. It's very weird. I understand there's all the unstable portals. But you need some need removal. You need some removal in there. Yeah, he didn't. It, it looks like he didn't play any the power. any removal because he's banking on RNG to be his removal, which is weird all in its own. Let's see. Can we close this out? I don't think we can close this out. Next turn. What I should have done was not as dormant with that. Nah, we can't finish this next turn. Let's see. The only way we can win this. Yeah, we'll, we've lost too much health. The only way we can win this is if RNG is on our side and gives me something that's cheap and has taunt. And even then, even then, it's probably not going to happen. Let's see, seven. I can go. Let's see. What can I do? Seven. Uh, three foot. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. What if I fireball? I Get rid of two of them. Okay. Okay. This is th another big risk. I hate this game. Another big master. risk here. How about fireball here? No, no, no. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I'm finna lose. Here we go. Here. Here. Heal me. Here. Come on, come on. Quickly, I need a quicker. Another Thaddeus. Did I just lose? I just lost. Well played. Well played. <laughs> this is three. I What I should have done, I should have fireballed something else. I should have fireballed something else. 
because this is seven, eight, nine, ten. I should have fireballed one of these two clowns. Well played. Well played. I'm ready to uh, it's always a misplay. It's always a misplay. I'll let him get the win. I'll let him get the win. I wonder if Red Mage knew I had the other fireball because I did. I did two unstable portals with uh, with Antonidas out. So I had. I had it. I had. It, I just messed up. Once again, I messed up. Uh, I'm gonna give it another run because honestly, I want this to work. This 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 came very close to working. I just didn't plan it out well. I just didn't plan it out well enough. That's okay. Okay, let's go for another bro. Anduin versus. Malfurion! I must protect the wild. The light shall bring victory. Alright. Um This is the perfect hand in a normal setting. Because then I'll draw all my cheaper cards and I have the, the game right here. I have the engine. But remember I need to get something out early. So Entomb has to go back. Entomb has to go back and I have to get Alarmobot. And, it, and it's got to rapidly play all those. That's the only way. Because if we're playing Druid... Oh, there we go. An alarm robot. If we're playing Druid, they're going to innervate and play a, a million ridiculous things. A million ridiculous things. Innervate. Empty mana crystal. Uh, hello. Greetings. We'll just pass. Next turn, we drop that llama bot. What I'm banking on, what has to happen, is that he has a hand of trash cards. That has to be. It has to be the scenario. Void Walker. I'm not sure if there's a way for him to make Void Walker stronger. If there isn't, we're in good. We're in good hands. Would Druid have a way to make Voidwalker stronger? For two mana, it has to get stronger. It has to get two more points for... Yes! Good! Good! All right. Alarmabai has no choice but to pull either the Twins or Kel'Thuzad. Which one? All right. Go ahead, Alarmabai. I need you to do it again. Ah! I forgot he can't attack. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Please, please work. Unstable portal. What does he have for three? What does he have for three? The war again. Okay. Pull. Please pull. Kelpuzad. Oh, shit. It's over. It's over. It's not going to work. It's over. All right, he pulled Kel'Thuzad. Soldiers of the cold dark. Obey the call of Kel'Thuzad. All right. So now the scenario is we have to get rid of this clown. Obviously, he's going to have his two minions take out Kel'Thuzad. That would be the smartest thing for him to do. Have the two minions take out Kel'Thuzad. Unless I play this. Because at this point, it's very clear what I'm trying to do. It's very clear what I'm trying to do. The alternate smart thing would be for him to have Kel'Thuzad be the only thing in play. Oh, no. Sorry. Never mind. That's not smart at all. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Would be would getting rid of a llama bot be smart? He's going for Zod. All right, Zod's out of here. Yep, bye Zod. It's okay. Plan worked for what I needed it to do. There goes Fuga. Show me Fuga. It makes it ridiculously easy when I have all four cards in my hand at the beginning. 
Okay, so once both of them are dead, uh, we get the lovely Thaddeus in 11-11. Let's get a portal so that we can get whatever for free instead of for cheap. Oh, well, that's that's kind of a letdown. It's kind of a letdown. Here we go. Not on my watch. Don't protect. Don't protect a llama bot. That's stupid, right? How do we protect this clown? And then go here. Play. What sucks is the llama bot doesn't have anything to to bring out. We're in the worst. This has been the worst, <laughs> the worst day for us here in the tavern brawl. Nice how with charge, but he can't hit heroes. He's going for the ball, uh, llama bot. Duh. Here we go. Hey, give a random friendly minion. Let's go here. Hey, transform a friendly? No, that's not fun. That is not fun today. Here we go. Give your cartoon. Okay. Um, uh, what are we gonna do with our lives? Oh my god, random friendly. Oh, on death rattle. Damn it. Whatever. Here we go. He can't attack heroes? That's fine with me. Nothing scares me. There's 11 points. If we get Thaddeus before our next turn, we're, we're going to be pretty close to winning. We're going to be pretty close to winning. Unstable portal, of course. Come on. Hey, come on. What you got? What you got? What you got? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. All right, Joker Jack. Of course. Go for the heavier one. Time waits for no one, Joker Jack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Come on, don't do it. Don't do the druid thing. It's a portal. All right. Let's see. Give me another portal, please. Oh, I can get rid of I can get rid of uh both minions, can I? Here we go. This is my responsibility. Is that it? No, I never really heard her voice. I like her voice. Here we go. Go play. Uh here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This and we'll heal? No. Let's go let's go here. Okay. Uh we're gonna end it. I am not playing listen, listen, I am not with the RNG. Not today. <laughs> not today. Come on. I'm not uh oh. Ah, the great outdoors. That's the one that has, yeah. Uh-oh. 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 He's trying to he's trying to make this game take longer. Let's see what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh an expensive ass portal. Okay. Uh let's see. He'll come in super strong if we can get damage off. Let's see. Actually, we have just enough, don't we? On this clown. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the plan. Here. This guy's working. Oh, wait, wait. Let's play this first because it's cheaper. And now this. All right. 
play. Okay. Pretty much he has to get rid of everything. He has to get rid of everything and then get rid of Thaddeus. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. You got that taunt. What you gonna do? Barbecue or mildew? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it! He's gonna do it. I'm not even worried. Hey, check that out. Jay's watching us. One of the other people who makes appearances on all play from time to time. Come on. Come on. You have to you have to kill. You have to kill things. There you go. Self and divine shield, is that enough? No, it's not. No, it's not. Ah! He didn't let us do it! <laughs> he didn't let us do it. Alright, we got the pack. We got the pack for the tavern brawl. It took us a while, but we did it. All right, guys. As you guys know, whenever I win a pack here on Tavern Brawl, that's not just my pack. That's our pack. We share that pack. So let's go and open up our pack. What do we get? Let's see. Anything. There's one rare. Just one rare, and that's okay. What else? What else can you hope for? Rare. Rare. I think I have two of all these, and that's okay. It's okay. Alright guys, this has been this week's Tavern Brawl. It's a lot of fun when you don't play the norm. The norm, of course, is Flame Waker for any spell-based Tavern Brawl. Uh, I had to mix it up this time. I, got, I, I don't like doing Flame Waker all the time. If you guys enjoyed this Tavern Brawl and would love to see more, all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure that you get more episodes of Tavern Brawl every week, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer throughout the week. Thank you guys for checking out this Tavern Brawl, and I will catch you next time here on All Play.